Hello, today we are going to talk today about Moyu London Plate Circus Collection 02 and Circus Collection 01, or I guess the smarter way to say that would have been 01 and 02. Anyway, the point is 01 is the regular sized uh, image plate and 02 is the XL image plate. So you probably already know by now, but when you are looking at the XL image plate versus the regular, you get uh, the exact same images on the XL as the regular, but you don't get as many of them because, of course, uh, not as many of them fit. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is go through the images, um, and then we'll talk about comparisons. So here we've got a couple of acrobats. Um, fun, fun, fun. We've, we've got this lady who's a trapeze artist and um, one on the rings. We've got these acrobats here doing their thing and um, the circus tent with all of the flags all over them. Some beautiful ballet dancers. Um, a few clowns. These are more of like Cirque du Soleil sort of uh, clowns. And unicycle wheels. Violins with the stars. I, I like that combination. And then just some stars. Uh, this unicycle. We've got um, the hot air balloon, and then we've got the Ferris wheel. And all of these have this very vintage, antique, early 1900s sort of feel to it. Uh, so you can definitely get a theme going there. The next thing I want to look at is all of the images that you get on um, the XL plate are also on the regular sized plate, but of course there are fewer of them. So let's take a look at which ones we have. Um, so you've got both of the stars, and those stars look like they're the same size. Um, you've got the two Ferris wheels, and on this one, the Ferris wheel is smaller, and on this one, the Ferris wheel is bigger, so that's going to make a difference in how it shows up on your nail. Same thing with the circus tent. The circus tent is uh, smaller here than here, so if you want the whole thing or most of it on your nail, that's going to make a difference. Uh, then we have the fun, fun, fun. And uh, here there are three funds instead of four funds. That's again going to make a difference on whether or not you can get the scroll work down at the bottom. And the scroll work is actually a little bit different on those two. The two violins, and that looks like it's the same scale. There's just more of that one. We've got the two hot air balloons, but the hot air balloon on the regular plate is smaller than the one on the bigger. The unicycle is a little bit bigger here, and you'll see that there's more of them. Whereas here, there's basically only one that you're going to be getting. So you could do this a bit off-center if you don't just want the one unicycle to dominate your nail, where that's going to be a little bit harder to really get that effect um, with this one. So that's something else to keep in mind. Then there's the ballerinas, and they look like they're the same size. There's just a bigger image there. This clown, and you'll notice here you can see... Here you can see more of him sitting down, whereas here it's just kind of the top. So if you want to get more of that image on your nail, you have that option with the XL. Um, the same thing with our lady trapeze artist. We've got more of her figure in there um, versus this one. And then with the acrobats, again, this looks like it's the same scale. There's just a bigger image here. And then the same thing with the wheels. So you'll notice like on my fingers, I always have shorter nails on this hand. And you can see that with my shorter nails, uh, I would be able to cover my nail with all of this. And even from side to side, although it's a tight, tight fit. Now, if I'm looking at my nails on this hand, you can see that's not going to cover my nail. And uh, sometimes I even grow my nails out a little tiny bit longer than that, and that's just not going to fit. So if you do have smaller nails, you'll probably be okay with that. If you don't have smaller nails or shorter nails, um, then you're going to want to uh, look at o plate O2 if you want full coverage. Now that's one of the interesting things for me about this set of plates is there are several images that I might want full coverage like the unicycle and the little ballerinas here and um, the wheels over here and the acrobats, but uh, I think that there are a number of images on here that I don't actually care. So like this clown here, if I were to stamp him, you know, like this, that that's going to be plenty for me, even when my nails are a little bit longer. Same thing like with um, this girl sitting on the trapeze. I don't necessarily need to worry too, too much if she's not going to cover all the way. So the downside for this plate, though, is it's like if I did want the whole uh, Ferris wheel here to fit on my finger, it's not going to fit very well. So 
I'd be able to get like that and maybe, or, you know, if I went like that, maybe you could kind of tell it was a Ferris wheel. But if I, if I wanted to get more of the Ferris wheel look, I'm probably going to want to get that one. Same thing with the circus tent. If I want to make sure that I can get enough there of that tent or even like with, with the hot air balloon. If I want to be able to get that and have it be recognizable as a hot air balloon, I need the smaller image to do that. So with this, I'm not going to be able to get the whole basket and the whole top of the balloon. It's going to be a tighter fit. So if the main thing that I want to do with these designs is get full nail coverage, this is the plate that I'm definitely going to go for. If I want to play around with more of the acrobats and have them be fully visible or the clowns on my nail, uh, then a one is going to be uh, where I'm going to make my choice. So there's two factors there, the size of your nails and what you want these designs to do for your nails. If you don't care about getting, you know, like the whole girl and the, the things that she's hanging from, then you're not going to have to worry about that so much. In terms of how to use these, I think these are perfect images to play around with like whites and black shades and browns and tans and get that old-fashioned kind of feel. I think they're also very cool if you want to do like white and black and then just have a pop of color. So maybe you want to have um, this on, you know, you've got this on all your nails and then you just have one girl have her little outfit done in pink. And so on all your nails, you're going to have white and black and then just that pop of the pink or a pop of red or whatever color you want there. I think uh, this would these would also be really great for the Sharpie technique because when you use a Sharpie technique, you can, depending on how much alcohol you add, you can really make the colors sort of look washed out and faded and get that old-fashioned watercolor look to it, like, um, like they've been faded out. So uh, that's another thing that I think would be really, really cool here. Just think of these in terms of um, circus. So this is a beautiful, you know, this reminds me of um, the Degas, uh, paintings with all of the beautiful ballerinas. So you could turn this into a really impressionistic manicure depending on the colors you use without um, it having any circus feel, you know, whatsoever. You could make this, do this in primary colors and make that really bold and cute and it not have a vintage look at all. Um, of course, you could use the violins for a musical theme. I, I tend to find clowns to be a little bit scary. <laughs> Not, not scary a little, you know, not exactly scary, but you know what I mean? They're like a little freaky to me. They just kind of freak me out a little bit. So for me, that could be Halloween manicures, depending on how you do it. So, um, you know, look beyond just the circus theme on these. Okay, so the images on the regular size plate are half an inch wide and just about four and a half eighths of an inch tall. On the XL plate, we are looking at about just under five eighths of an inch wide and just over three quarters of an inch tall. So, so about six and a half eighths of an inch tall. Okay, for my stamping test, I'm gonna use Sally Hansen InstaDry in Imprompt Blue and I'm gonna use my XL Clear Stamper. All right, what I'm gonna to try to do here is um, some comparison stamps. Excellent pickup. The XL. Didn't stamp it, you know, super carefully, but you get the point. Okay, good pickup again. And now what I want to show you is the difference between this is the XL and this is the regular. So you can see, like, for example, this is going to be a little bit taller and this one's going to be a little bit wider. So good pickup and excellent transfer. So cute. Excellent pickup. You can see here how you want to get more of her and you have longer nails. This is how it's going to look and this one it ends right here. And we've got excellent pickup. And you can see excellent transfer, but you can also see that's not going to make it to the edge of my thumb there. Um, and it doesn't quite make it to the top or quite to the bottom. And this is my short thumb as opposed to my hand where I have my nails a little bit longer. So you can see there's no way that's going to cover all of that. Excellent pickup. 
even my longer, bigger nail. It's going to cover just fine. Okay, so Moyu London always has excellent quality, and this uh, hopefully gives you a little bit of a sense of the difference between the regular size plate and the XL plate, and um, I will link everything down below, and thank you for watching.